Good afternoon. Um, jumping on to talk about what, how would it feel if we had greater knowledge and insight over our bodies? Um, and when I say that, I'm think, talking not just from the physical standpoint, but the mental um, side of it also. You know, really being able to know our bodies, feel what's going on um, for, you know, optimal wellness. And I think about, you know, when I, years and years ago, when I um, would exercise, I was taught, you know, here's a bicep curl. And this is what you do for that bicep curl. And so mainly all I was doing was focusing on that, that curl and that, you know, that bulge of the bicep and not really understanding my body or being able to feel my body to realize, you know, how I was positioning myself and how that could um, derail things or, you know, strategies that I was taking um, to maybe make that exercise work better for me or maybe because my bicep wasn't strong enough I'd like tense up into my shoulder and I was using you know uh, my shoulder more to use it so sacrificing and thus creating uh, more rigidity and tension in my body um, which over time create would create imbalances and you know those imbalances go into other things so not really truly understanding and knowing my body until I started um into Pilates. And what I loved about it was what I was learning in the studio, I took with me, you know, into my day, my daily life. Um, started having a, little, a lot more awareness around, you know, not only my movements in the studio, but my movements outside of the, the studio. And, you know, when my posture might not be very good, uh, creating, you know, havoc in my body, you know, and, and it's not being so rigid about being in a certain position. It's knowing the position that's healthful for the body and being able to be aware of, of things that might take us out of that position that could be detrimental and cause um, other issues like back pains or, you know, hip issues and things like that. Um, so I always say it's not, you know, you, we learn the movements so that we have greater awareness, but we're not so legalistic about the movement that we don't allow ourselves some ease through it. Um, so, you know, learning movements to gain better results, um, you know, because being in a good alignment and doing a movement um, in a specific way get great, gives us greater results. Um, deeper results and more all over body results uh, also gives us greater awareness in our bodies so that we know you know when our bodies are in a um i'll say a healthy state so if my body's out of balance and i'm moving from um, not a good positioning and i'm sacrificing somewhere else to get a movement then I, to me, that puts my body in an unhealthy state because over time, that could create imbalances that could lead to injuries or um, different things like that. Can also lead to you know stress that can affect us mentally. You know, because when we're when we're in pain and we don't know what the pain, what's causing the pain, that can cause us mental and emotional stress also. But in all of that understanding and knowing. Um, positioning and alignments and everything it's also giving us grace to know um, when to make shifts to create space in the body you know if we're feeling tension you know we might need to move around and wiggle around a little bit um, to let that go so that we can be in a better position in a better healthy position in the body and be able to go deeper into our movements and how to get the whole body to to interact with us you know and that's why I love, you know, if we go back and we look at Joseph Pilates' uh, principles that he taught upon, uh, which were breath, centering, uh, concentration, control, flow, and precision, um, I look at all those not only from a 
movement uh, physical standpoint, but also from the um, mental, emotional standpoint. Because, you know, not only do we center ourselves into maybe a movement, and centering to me is when we're connecting into our uh, structural strength, our core, um, but it's also centering our minds, um, our breath, not just using our breath to affect movement, but using our breath to affect um, more ease in our thinking or using our breath to be able to feel where there might be um, a lack of ease so that we can use the breath to help us find ease. Um, concentration, so not just concentrating on, you know, doing a movement precisely, which also takes us into precision, but concentrating on where there might be some rigidity that's hindering that movement. How can I go in and remove that rigidity to create better uh, sense of movement, um, more easeful, more healthful uh, movement to where maybe now my whole body can be a part of this movement instead of just bearing down into one area, which can create imbalances. Um, control, you know, control also goes both ways into controlling a movement. And for me, controlling movement in um, Pilates or movement in general creates a deeper um, and better results. It's where we're actually creating that structural uh, strength. Uh, I know early on in, you know, for me, it was all about building the muscle, right? It's like building those big muscles and there was n no concentration around the structural strength or the core strength, or, you know, at that point, I thought core strength was all just like doing ab curls. That was core strength, uh, which now I know um, creating core strength or what I like to call structural strength goes with every single movement that we do because um, we want to be structurally uh, secure and sound before we do an outward movement uh, because that also helps us prevent um injuries or imbalances in the body. And it, it's interesting, you know, um, our family, we just started this reading, we read every evening, so we all had to pick a book. And I picked the book, um, The Anatomist, which is quite interesting. But in the very first chapter, he has a quote from a, um, a student of anatomy, in a Scottish university in 1620. And the quote that he made was, self-knowledge can and ought to apply not only to our soul, but also to our body. Um, that without the insight into the fabric of our body, we really have no knowledge of ourself. Um, and so being able to have that innate knowledge of um, our body not only helps us through our movement, but also think about how that helps me through my daily uh, life. Because when I'm uh, knowledgeable of my body, if I put my body into a situation or a position that could cause harm down the road, because I'm so aware of my body, I'm able to self-adjust and um, hopefully bring it out of that and into more of a uh, structurally sound, easeful position. When something's causing me stress and that makes me tense into my body, I automatically notice it because I feel that tension in my body because I'm so aware. Um, and so we can maybe either pull into our strategies, our toolbox to help ease that tension, or if it's an outside force creating that tension, then maybe we just remove ourselves from it and then pull from our toolbox to help bring us back into a healthy state. Um, so all of that is why, um, why obviously I teach what I teach, but um, all that goes into a program that we're now offering, um, getting ready to offer in the studio uh, called Pilates Journey to Wellness, which I created or designed um, in 2018, based off all the 
Pilates principles. Um, not only creating, you know, going through all the fundamental movements, but really getting deep into those to understand, you know, where the movement's coming from so that um, we can go deeper and get better results, which also helps us through our daily life and um, helps us age with grace, um, but helps us also from, you know, more also the emotional mental to where it's all well-rounded. And then we can take all of those movements that we learn, the fundamentals, go into our daily life. It goes into um, our walking, our moving, our lifting, our grabbing, um, all the daily activities that we do, all of our uh, extra activities that we like to do, you know, whether it's hiking, swimming, whatever, to support us in those to get us better uh, awareness. And then the extra added thing that I added to this one this time is uh, the reformer. So we take the movements, the fundamental movement after we really get it, hone it into our bodies, and then we take that into the, the Pilates reformer and see how when I've learned how to um, position my body maybe on my all fours, knees and hands, um, how that can take me into a plank how that can take me into a quadruped movement on the reformer um, and all the different movements that we can do moving from that one um, one position. And we'll go through tons of different positions like that. Um, so this is, this is one of the programs in studio that uh, is probably one of my favorites because it has such a wide range effect uh, on us and getting us such a great um, awareness of our bodies and helping us start building that deep strength, um, that deep awareness and a greater um, insight of our knowledge and insight of our bodies. Um, and also creating a lot more strength and mobility in our bodies to um, help us through our days. Uh, so. I would love to have you join us in this new program. Uh, it starts November 2nd and we'll be going um, Mondays and Wednesdays. We have one offering at 4 p.m. and another offering at 6 p.m. Uh, the other thing about this one is it's only open to, each one's only open to three individuals so that you get um, optimal attention uh, to the detail and to the work and we can you know, talk about some of it and build your strategies. Each program um, has just a couple spots because we just opened this up. So we have um, a couple spots in each one open currently. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, I can drop the links in the bottom or you can message me to grab one of those uh, spaces that starts um, in two weeks. The other thing, I planned this in a way to best support everyone through, because uh, we're getting ready to go into holiday season. We have Thanksgiving coming up soon. We have Christmas and New Year's. So this has been planned so that it gives you some work up until Thanksgiving and some time off for Thanksgiving. And then work up until Christmas and you get that time off for Christmas. And then enough left over that you can come back after the new year and get a jump start on your new year with your movement. Uh, so it'll take you through your holiday season and then into the new year. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Timing was great on this one to help us um, not only support us through the end of 2022, but to uh, jump start our 2023. So love to have you join us. And um, if you have any questions, give me a PM. Uh, if it's something you're like, okay, I'm ready to do this. I really want to do it. You can uh, DM me or give me a little fist bump and I'll contact you on the details. Uh, but have a wonderful Monday and, um, you know, take some time through your day to really start kind of paying attention to uh, the body and how you're moving and noticing times when um, you might feel something is just not quite right. And give it a little thought and a little um, insight to start building that body awareness. Uh, have a blessed day and talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.